This is Lesson 9 of 16 Lessons on how to build a Joomla website. This lesson is about Joomla categories. And the topics are the Joomla storage system, creating categories, and editing categories. In this lesson, we finally start to talk about the most important part of a website, the content. In the previous lessons, I mentioned that there are two types of page content. The primary content, which is the main information that usually appears in the middle of the page. And the secondary content is everything else and tends to be placed above, below and to the sides of the primary content. Let's start with the primary content, which is broken into two functions. This lesson discusses the first part, the Joomla storage system. Part 2, Articles, is explained in the next lesson. The Joomla storage system is similar to your local computer. Your computer contains all sorts of files such as documents, photos and music files. These files are stored inside folders. And folders can live inside other folders. There are no rules of course and you can choose to create folders within folders within folders. It does however become somewhat difficult to manage and find your files if you don't use a logical storage system. The same principles apply with Joomla. You create content items called articles, which are a bit like files on your computer. These items are stored in categories, which are like computer folders. You can create categories within categories, which is known as nesting. But like folders on your local computer, it is a good idea to keep this structure as simple as practical, so it's easy to manage and find items. When planning your site, it's helpful to create a site map. And in this example, I'll create a simple three-tier hierarchy. There will be a category called Articles. Inside that are two more categories called Geography and History. Inside the History category are two more categories, Ancient and Modern. Articles can be stored in any of these categories, and that's explained in the next lesson. Let's now take a look at how to manage categories in Administrator. Log into the Joomla Administrator and click the Category Manager link that appears in the left panel of the Control Panel page. You can also access Category Manager from the Content menu at the top. If you installed the sample data during the installation, you'll see that there are several categories listed already. Many of these are indented to show that they are subcategories of other categories. For example, the Content Modules category lives inside the Modules category, which lives inside the Extensions category, which lives inside the Joomla category. Let's pretend that we're starting from scratch and therefore don't want to use any of the existing categories. In the Actions toolbar, towards the top left, click the green New button. A new page is displayed and the first box is labelled Title. In that box, enter a name for the category. You can leave alias as Joomla will take care of this when the category is saved. In the right column, note the drop down box labelled Parent. This refers to the category hierarchy, which I'll skip this time and leave it set to No Parent. Now, Joomla categories have several optional features, but to make it as easy as possible to learn, let's skip everything else and click the Save and Close button at the top. This returns to the category listing. If you scroll down the page and click the Next button to view the rest of the list, you can note that the Articles category has been added to the bottom of the list. Now we'll go ahead and create the rest of the categories. Click New and enter the next category title. In the Parent drop-down menu, 
you need to specify if this is a top level category like the previous one, or if it is a subcategory of a category that already exists. In this example, I want it to live under the articles category that was created before. So, I'll select that option. Finish by clicking Save and Close. Now you can see in the list that this new geography category is indented under the articles category. This process continues until all the necessary categories are created. So once again, click New, enter a title, and specify if the category belongs to another category. Finish by selecting Save and Close. This example included two more categories, so I'll repeat the process. This new ancient category belongs to the history category. Now there's one more category to enter, but this time, instead of clicking Save and Close, let's choose Save and New. This option saves the category, but instead of returning to the category listing, it opens a new entry page. This is a great time saver when entering lots of content. The last category is Modern, which is also a subcategory of History. As this is the last entry, click Save and Close to return to the Category Manager. When it comes to building your site, you might decide that you only need one category. There are no rules and what's best for you will be determined by the amount and type of content you wish to display. For many smaller sites, you may well only need one category. If you ever wish to edit a category, simply click its title on the Category Manager page. This page will display and you can make any changes and save. Before I return, let me point out an important feature of Joomla. As more than one person can be updating your site at the same time, Joomla uses a checkout feature. When you open something, it becomes locked, preventing someone else from opening it. When you save the item, it becomes unlocked again. This works really well, but there is a potential trap. If you open something and then use the back button in your browser, Joomla doesn't know that you've finished with the item and it remains locked. To prevent this, never use the Browser Back button when you are in the Joomla Administrator. Always choose Save, or if you don't want to save, choose Close. I'll close this one for now. If you ever make this mistake, you can fix it by going to System, Global Check-in. If you're sure that no one else is working on anything, select the box at the top, which selects everything, and then click the check-in button at the top left of the Actions toolbar. Here is a summary of the major points covered in this lesson. These steps are relevant to creating primary content. The Joomla storage system is similar to your computer. Your computer has folders to store files. Joomla uses categories to store articles. There are two steps to create primary content. First, create a category, and then create an article and store it in that category. This lesson demonstrated the first part, creating categories. Categories can be nested if appropriate, just like you can store folders within folders on your computer. You should not use the web browser back button when using Administrator. Instead, always choose to save or close items. You now have an understanding of how the Joomla storage system works and how to create categories. You'll find this process summarised in the companion workbook, which is either available here on this site 
or at www.buildajoomlawebsite.com. In the next lesson, I show you how to create articles.